Today, we were going to solve a sample problem related to pressure heads. Pressure head is a concept in fluid mechanics that represents the height of a liquid column corresponding to a specific pressure in fluid mechanics. The sample problem is a pressure in a given tank reads 277 millimeters of mercury. In this video, we were going to determine the equivalent height of column of water, the equivalent height of column of kerosene having a specific gravity of 0.82, and the equivalent height of column of nectar having a specific gravity of 2.94. Pressure head is defined by the equation, pressure head, H is equals to the fluid pressure, P over specific weight of the liquid. Since specific weight is equals to the product of the density of a specific liquid multiplied to the acceleration due to gravity g. So, we have fluid pressure over density of a liquid multiplied to the acceleration due to gravity. You can use either of these two equations. First, we were going to determine the equivalent height of a water. Based from the equation, we can manipulate it and we have an equation unit weight of mercury multiplied to height of mercury is equals to specific weight of water multiplied to its height, in which it is the unknown. Plug in the given values, we have 13.6 as the specific gravity of mercury multiplied to the specific weight of the water which is 9.81 kN per cubic meter times the height of the mercury which is 277 mm which is equals to 0.277 meter equals to the specific weight of water which is 9.81 kN per cubic meter times the unknown value, which is the water's height. We have 36.956 kN per square meter as the pressure of mercury and 9.81 kN per cubic meter as the value of water times the head. Simplifying the problem, and we get the value of the water as 3.77 meters. In solving a problem, don't forget to cancel out the units to avoid confusion. Next, we were going to determine the height of the kerosene with a specific gravity equals to 0.82. Since the head is unknown, we were going to use the same equation. We have specific gravity of mercury which is 13.6 multiplies to the specific weight of water which is 9.81 kN per cubic meter times the height of the mercury which is 0.277 meter is equals to the specific gravity of kerosene which is equals to 0.82 times the specific weight of the water which is 9.81 kN per cubic meter multiplied to the unknown value, h. So, we have 36.956 kN per square meter as the value of the pressure of mercury in other side for the kerosene, we have 8.044 kN per cubic meter times head. Simplifying the problem and cancelling out the same units, we have 4.59 meter as the height of the kerosene. Lastly, we were going to solve for the height of nectar having a specific gravity 2.94. We were going to use the same equation. So we have specific gravity of mercury, 13.6 times the specific weight of water, 9.81 kN per cubic meter times 0.277 meter as our height of mercury is equals to the specific gravity of nectar, 2.94 times the specific weight of water as 9.81 kN per cubic meter multiplied to the head. The pressure of mercury is equals to 39.562 kN per square meter is equals to 28.841 kN per cubic meter times head as the pressure of the nectar. Simplifying the problem and cancelling out the same units we have height of nectar is equals T1.372 meter. And that ends today's video. I hope you've learned something. Thank you.